The smartest person is actually Jean A. I'm gonna have to go with Jean A. I think that the smartest person on the cast would probably be John A. John A, the queen of season two. She has a sneaky type of, of smart. Like she's great at puzzles, she's great at math, but she's also just smart politically. She has gone to the final the last two seasons, and I don't think she's ever been to an elimination. Johnny's friends with everybody. She brings lots of goodies for everyone. She stays out of drama, and she's a good competitor. I think Jordan is the smartest person here because he literally knows everything. Jordan is, he's, he's pretty smart, and he does it in a way that is not pretentious. Wes would say Wes, um, so that's probably not very smart. Obviously. Wes is gonna think he is. Who is the smartest person in the house? Well, it would be thy ginger right here. It's obviously me. And then second place, TJ? You know, I think that Brad is one of the stronger competitors here. Uh, but if it's not Brad, then it's gonna be me. By looking at the boys, I would think that MJ is the strongest man. I'm looking at the cast, and I see one guy who's made of solid lead. That's Tyler Duckworth. <laughs> this man I have literally seen pick up a house. I don't want to be in anything physical with Tyler. Fastest person in the house, easy, me. Fastest is going to be this Jordan kid. You know, he's young, he does triathlons quite often, it seems like, so he's going to be pretty damn fast. The fastest is probably Jordan. Have you ever seen him? He runs like a gazelle. I would say that either Jarrell or Jordan are the fastest. He is a machine that never ever stops and just needs oil every three to six months. Kind of a boring answer, but it's, it's me. Um, I would love to say that it's all sorts of other people, but quite frankly, you know what? I've been disappointed in the level of humor that I've seen around here. Funniest on the cast is me. Derek's been one of the funniest guys to be on the challenge because he's super competitive, but he's uber funny too. Tyler is so crazy, but he's like one of those people that you like want to have in the house because he's literally pure entertainment. I think Nehemiah would definitely be the funniest. He's always just like joking around, having a good time. I'm gonna say Tina because she just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. She is so unexpected. Everybody's a shady mother in this house. Everybody's shady. I can go into this house or stand next to somebody and feel the shade. Shady mom. Um. So the shadiest person. So we haven't seen everybody. Tina's back for this one, and Tina's pretty damn shady. Shadiest, and I will say this to her face, it is definitely Jemmy. I honestly don't know who the shadiest is in the house as of yet, but I hope to find out soon because I would like to form an alliance with that person so that I know that they don't ever try to sabotage me. <laughs> shadiest cast member will probably be MJ, just because of the way he feels when I'm around him. And I've watched his game, and he'll make a deal with almost anybody he can. Mine and Wes's relationship has gotten much, much better over the years. But I think that he might play the shadiest game. You gotta go with Wes. I would say the shadiest boy here would be Wes. The shadiest person in the house would probably be every single one of the people who just said my name. And each one of those people has bullied me in the past, sent me in, and been mean, and now they're trying to change the narrative. I want all you guys to watch this video, realize that all those people are bullying, go to their accounts, and tell them to f off.